Hey everybody, it's Mandy Jalis with Motor City Spindle Repair, and you are watching As the Spindle Turns, our podcast, and I am joined with Chris Esser of Dielectric. Hey Chris, how are you today? I'm great, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, so Chris, I guess just to dive right in, um, what do you guys do over there at Dielectric? So we're a uh, custom uh, fabricator. We're kind of a, uh, a contract manufacturer and uh, we make uh, components, uh, high precision components for technical assemblies for uh, OEMs and tier one customers. Okay, so I guess, do you do anything with like the, the machining, um, like CNC's, things like that? Yeah, we got a, uh, a lot of mills and CNC's. So yeah, our, our most of our equipment our assets are uh, machines. So okay. yeah, we got um, two saw CNC saws. We got seven punch presses. We got 18 CNC mills. So the spindles, you guys know all about that. Right. Uh, five lathes, four routers, so. Very cool. So, you know, over at Motor City Spindle Repair, we do a lot of spindle, you know, repairs, uh, reworks. You know, we can provide new spindles. Uh, so keep that in the back of your mind next time you guys go to pull a spindle out of one of your machines. Absolutely. <laughs> because we, we, you know, we'd love to get in there and, you know, even just walk around your shop. Absolutely. And we love pushing our spindles to the limit. So that's, well, that's I think, I think most, uh, machining companies do because it, nobody really wants to go out and spend that extra cash when you don't have to. Um, right. but biggest thing with spindles is maintenance. So take care that's of right. it. And, and remember, you don't always have to just throw them away or just leave them laying on the floor. You can, you know, reach out to a repair shop like Motor City. <laughs> That's right. So do you guys do uh, bearings as well? We do. Um, we like to stick, you know, with the, the spindles, but we also do provide bearings. Um, we actually have inventory of name brand bearings. And being that we have inventory, our lead times are a lot lower. Awesome. So keep that in I mind. Like to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> so, what have you guys been doing through this whole pandemic um, to stay afloat for like marketing and, you know, to keep your brand out there? So for marketing, we've, um, we assigned, you know, Kelsey and Jamie to really focus on our marketing, especially like the social medias and our website. So like LinkedIn, um, we've become a lot more active on LinkedIn. We kind of have that geared to, you know, for, buyers and engineers and individuals who are trying to get to know a dielectric and just trying to educate them on what we do. And then we've also been getting more active on Facebook where we have that more geared for our employee. Okay. So like our, one of our strategic initiatives is to uh, have better uh, communication with everybody, you know, especially right. through all this going on. Right. Now, are you finding that you're posting, um, more like sales related things or are you posting technical things or are you just posting things randomly about who you guys are um so i would say on linkedin we're posting a lot of um you know capabilities so like things you know, materials that we work with trying to educate people on different plastics right. between you know thermal sets and uh, thermal plastics and also uh, capabilities what we're able to do okay uh, do you find it's working for you? Um, you know, since we haven't been too active in the past, I believe, yes, it's working for us. I think it's educating people. We, I talk to my friends and they are, you know, it's opening their minds to what we do. Right. So, yeah. Yes, I believe it's helping us. So just stick with it because you know what? It, it's, it is a marathon because, you know, I've been with Motor City over two years now and we are like, we could implement something six months ago and it could, it could take a year before we actually see a result. So keep pushing and doing what you're doing because I promise you, you're going to see the return in it. Absolutely. Um, so I appreciate that. <laughs> not, not a problem. Um, do you have any questions for me? Uh, not at this time. I'd like to get to know you guys a little bit better um, as a company, you know, so where exactly uh, are you guys located? We're in Richfield, Wisconsin. So just North of Milwaukee. Okay, so you're not far from Detroit. Yeah, not not at all. Yeah. Uh, have you ever been to the Detroit area? Uh, only through the airport. I haven't been in the area, but I've been, um, you know, up north in Petoskey, and That's I've been a nice in the, area. Yeah, Grand Rapids area. So. Very cool. Yeah, we have um, a national sales manager in your area, Lauren Liddell. 
Um, she was going to be on here with us today, but she actually had another meeting at the same time. So I told her I would take this one and, you know, we, we work together as a team. That's, that's how we do things over at Motor City. Um, yeah, it is important. I mean, you get, you get more accomplished that way, I think, and you get better results. So I will give her all, I mean, I know she has your information, but, um, I will make sure that she gets over to visit you guys. Awesome. Um, well, if you don't have anything else for me, um, you know, I, I'd love to continue to work with you guys, you know, marketing together. Um, if you ever need help, please feel free, you know, to have anybody on your team reach out to me. And, you know, awesome. if, if I ever have questions or if I ever see something online that I really think is cool, I might reach out to you guys too, to pick your brain about, you know, how you did it or whatnot. Um, but let's, let's keep working together. Let's really blast out to people and let people know that, you know, manufacturing and machining is a huge industry still even through the rough times that we're going through, you know, we're still needed. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. It's uh, it's nice to know that you, you take a lot of pride in your work because it's hands-on. It's not just, you know, yep. through the computer. So you actually have this physical part that you're working on. So there's a lot right. of pride in the work that the manufacturers do. Right. Yeah. And I don't, I don't know if you and I talked or if it was myself and somebody else um, about, you know, having the older people, the older generations, are still your ones that are working on these CNCs. And they're really like your, they're your, I guess your legends, you could say in your facility. Right. And, you know, I got one more question I was, I was going to ask you and I forgot, but was, do you see, you know, people in their twenties and thirties interested in, you know, this, this hands-on and wanting to do these and having this, this trade? Uh, yes, I do see that um, people are interested in it. I think it's more educating the younger population um, just because, you know, people don't realize that it's more soft robotics. It's not really that, you know, going from a, a drilling a hole to tapping a hole, you know, that whole manual process, it's really getting into automation. And it's so it's not so much more hands-on, but it's more like, it's kind of, marrying the two hands on and automation as well. Right. All right. Well, thank you. It was really great to talk to you. Um, and again, if you have any questions for me or anything that you guys need, please Absolutely. reach out to Motor City. Um, we're here. So. Yes, same here. Yeah, I, I look forward to collaborating with you guys. Yeah. And you know, word of mouth is always important. So net networking with other uh, manufacturers is awesome. 100%. Well, enjoy the rest of your day. And I thank you again for being on as the spindle turns. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.